Hello and welcome to yet another computer video. In this episode I'm going to install Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 10525 clean on this old HP Compact 6510B. This computer is another scrap salvage and was going to be replaced during my employer's hardware refresh. It is a Windows Vista laptop but during service it was downgraded to Windows XP. Towards the end of XP support life we replaced any non-7 licensed computers with newer hardware capable of Windows 7 or higher and this laptop was going to be sent to the recyclers for safe and legal disposal. Originally I had planned for this laptop to be a Pixie boot server to allow me to install Windows Vista and higher images using a Windows Server 2012 R2 boot whim and the install whims from various versions of Windows that I needed to deploy. However, this never really took off and I found it easier to perform most of my installs from USB or DVD, depending on the computer. That, and I couldn't actually ever get networking set up to allow this under Windows Vista, so I did it with another laptop running Windows XP instead. Anyway, don't get me started on Windows Vista. Hmm. So, the laptop before you has been clean installed to Windows Vista Business Edition using the license from the OEM sticker on the bottom and then an in-place upgrade to Windows 7 Ultimate was performed. I'll just show the system specification. As you can see, this particular laptop is using a Core 2 Duo T7300 microprocessor clocked at 2 GHz and has 3 GB of RAM installed running the 64-bit version of Windows 7. The key here is that Windows 7 is activated which, as we all know, is eligible for a free upgrade until July 2016. I don't want to have to perform another upgrade as it would be an upgrade on top of an upgrade so I'm going to show you the trick that I learned from My Digital Life that I demonstrated in my previous video again which will allow you to perform a clean install straight to Windows 10. The difference here, however, is that I would like it to go to the new build 10.5.25 rather than the RTM 10.2.4.0 version to save the large download and subsequent in-place upgrade. I need to point out here that build 5.2.5 and up actually allow you to enter your retail Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 key during a clean install and then they should activate fine. If you have misplaced your key or were never given it but currently have a working install I want to clean install Windows 10 to the exact same hardware this is the method you need to follow. So this process is going to be exactly the same as before. Browse to the DVD go into sources find the executable gather OS state and copy it to the desktop. Next what you want to do is to double click Gather OS State and just wait a few moments um, to generate the genuine ticket. It will put this on the desktop. Remember that in order for this to work you need to be activated on a non-volume licensed install key and be connected to the internet. So the XML file is generated. Don't lose this XML file, you will need it later after you've clean installed Windows 10, so you must save it to a USB drive. I'll just replace the one from the previous video. And now we need to restart. During boot, you need to press the key when prompted to boot from the Windows 10 installer. This process will vary if you are using a USB drive or a DVD to install. Also, it will depend on what BIOS your computer has. If uh, you have Windows 8, for example, and a UEFI BIOS, you might need to make some changes to your BIOS settle. 
So I'll just press a key there. So once you're at the installer window, you need to choose your language and hit next. And then choose install now, which will take a few moments to start the install wizard properly. During install, you'll be prompted for your Windows install key. And here you can put your 7, 8.1 or 10 key. We don't have a key as we are cleaning, installing an upgrade in quotes. Microsoft have actually changed this screen so that you could click I don't have a key instead of skip. So let's go ahead and click that. And I'm going to choose the Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview. I'll accept the terms and click next and I'm going to perform a custom install because I want a clean install and here I'll just delete the hard drive partition and hit next so this will start the install process and I'll stop the video here and pick up when it's installed. Okay, so once it's finished installing, you should get to this Let's Get Connected screen. Um, this is totally unrehearsed. It seems that you could no longer skip this screen. And in order for this trick to work, you need to not be connected to the internet. Thankfully, my internet connection is my iPhone which happens to have no service. If you can see on the focus, no service. So I could click to connect to my iPhone which won't have an internet connection because there's no service and allow me to carry on with this trick it's going to fail because I still have no service and hopefully this will eventually time out And here's the skip this skip depth. And for speed, I'm just going to click use express settings. Normally, I'd go through there and turn everything off. But it needs to be all turned on for the trick to work. You need to enter all the information here that you want to use. I'm just going to stick in user and hit next. OK, so we're on the Windows desktop and I've copied the genuine ticket from my USB key to the desktop temporarily and now we need to go and put it in the correct place it needs to be. So if we go to File Explorer and type C, Program Data, and then down arrow after the backslash, we can then go to Microsoft, backslash, Windows, backslash, Clip SVC, backslash, Genuine Ticket, backslash press enter. I'm just going to copy this file in and say continue to the administrative prompt. And now all we need to do is restart. And so we're back on the Windows desktop. Now what we need to do is connect to the internet. I've moved the phone to somewhere where it gets a signal and this time it should be connected. Then if we go to settings, updates and security, 
activation and then click activate as you can see it's now being activated on this device with a digital entitlement this basically means Microsoft should now have this computer's hardware print stored on their server so clean installs in the future can be done straight from the installer without generating the genuine ticket and that's pretty much it so that's all for now please thumbs up this video if it helps and leave a comment if you have one